Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Devi Daily Yoga. This is a full-length yin yoga sequence, which is one that you can do every day to release stress and tension and to stretch deeply into all parts of the body. To begin, sit on your heels in seiza. And if it's not comfortable to sit directly on your heels, then use a cushion or a yoga block under your seat. And let the hands rest in your lap as you take a few moments to feel what's happening inside. Checking in with the landscape of your inner being and feeling your breath. Noticing the feeling of the tops of your feet and your shins on the ground. Your spine upright. Any sensations in your knees, your hips. And now coming into child's pose. So let the knees open to a comfortable width and come forward. Feeling the stretch in the back body, the back of the hips, the spine. Feel the contact of your forehead to the earth. And let your breath spread into your back body. And now slowly coming up and making your way into dragon pose with the right leg forward. So dragon twist is the first option. And the second option is dragon's tail, where you reach your right hand back and hold on to your left foot. So if that's too much, just stay in the dragon twist. In both poses, we're lengthening into the front of the back leg, the quadriceps and the hip flexors. And you can choose to make it a little more of a back bend by opening the pelvis farther toward the front body. Taking two minutes here. And softening into the posture, softening into the sensations that you're feeling. And softening into your breath. And slowly releasing, coming into Downward Dog. And in Downward Dog, if it feels good, pump the legs, bend one knee at a time. Feel the right hip, feel the left hip after that first side. And then move into the second side. Left leg forward, dragon twist, or dragon's tail. Whichever pose you're taking, you can think about sending the head back in space, the back of the skull back in space, and even sending the shoulders back in space. And this will help to lengthen the front body to feel the back bend. Feeling the front of the body open from the right knee all the way up to the right side of the chest. And 
and feel the steadiness and the smoothness of your breath. And now slowly releasing dragon pose, coming into downward dog once again. Feeling the backs of the legs, feeling the thighs, feeling the hips. Maybe walking the legs out again. And dropping the knees to come into child's pose and rest here. Taking this time now to feel the effects of the pose on your body. After doing both sides, right side and left side. Slowly coming up now and transitioning to a seated position with your legs out in front of you for caterpillar pose. Our two-legged seated forward bend. You can have your legs close together, or you can widen them a bit, maybe even as wide as your mat as you come forward, perhaps reaching for the feet or perhaps letting the hands rest on the legs or on the floor. You may wish to modify this with a cushion under your seat or to have some support under your head or your chest or both. And with this posture, feel the length and the stretching all along the back of the body, the back of the spine, the broad musculature of the back, all the fascia of the back body. Seven layers of fascia that make the spine do what it's able to do. And of course, the backs of your legs might be feeling something. Everything from the heels up the backs of the legs and up the back of the torso. Sensing, softening, and breathing into this part of your body.
And now making your way out of caterpillar pose, slowly shifting to a position on your back to rest and to feel the rebound of the pose. Feel the energetic effects in your body, which can be whatever you notice right now as you rest, noticing sensations of heat or fullness, tingling, whatever's here, just being with it. And now slowly drawing the knees in toward the chest, hugging the knees in. And now rolling over onto one side, transitioning to hands and knees to come into sleeping swan. Slide the right knee forward and turn the shin to a comfortable angle. Settling down, feel free to use props, a cushion under your seat or a block under your forehead as you come forward, resting on the elbows or head on top of the hands or arms forward, forehead on the floor. As you soften into this, shifting or adjusting as you need to so that you feel the stretch in the right glutes and the right buttock without feeling pain in the right knee. And if that's not possible for you, then you may want to take the alternative pose instead, the figure four pose on the back to stretch into the same part of the body. And slowly now releasing Sleeping Swan and making your way back into Downward Dog. And stay here in Dog or optionally move through a Vinyasa coming forward into Plank, lowering down into Chaturanga and inhaling up to Upward Dog and returning back into Downward Dog. And now second side. Dropping the knees, left knee slides forward, turn the shin, or again, take that alternative posture on the back, figure four pose if that works better for your body.
shifting, adjusting, whichever pose you're in so that it feels comfortable and stretches into the left glutes. And once you find your place to rest, see if you can soften and see if the breath can help you soften. Knowing that in yin yoga, we want to allow gravity to do most of the work so that the body can be completely passive, completely relaxed. And releasing sleeping swan, slowly moving back into downward dog once again with the option to move through a vinyasa, shifting forward into plank, exhaling to chaturanga, inhaling to upward dog and exhaling to downward dog. And now slowly making your way into child's pose, drop the knees, send the hips back and relax here. Resting and feeling what's happening in the body at this point in the practice. Hips, thighs, lower back. And slowly make your way up to a seated position for dragonfly pose. So wide legged forward bend. And you can be quite a bit narrower or quite a bit wider depending on your range of motion as you come forward. Option to use a yoga block or two under your elbows or any other kinds of props under your elbows and forearms or under your head or under your chest. This pose is designed to stretch the inner thighs, the inner groin area. So if you want to change the angle of your legs or even play around with the rotation of your legs, so maybe your toes don't point straight up, maybe your feet lean back a bit or forward a bit to find that stretch. And if this pose just doesn't feel right for you, then a nice alternative to stretch the same area is butterfly pose with the feet together and the knees open. And wherever you are, allowing gravity to help you to soften into the pose and allowing your breath to help you stay present in the pose.
Slowly now, releasing dragonfly, coming up and slowly making your way onto your back to rest in any comfortable position for one minute. Feeling the effects of the pose, maybe along the energetic line of the inner thigh, inner leg, and up the central channel of the body. And now bending the knees and hugging them into your chest. Wrap the arms around the legs and lift your forehead up towards your knees. Squeeze into a ball and releasing to extend your legs into banana pose. So right foot comes toward the right edge of the mat and the left ankle crosses over it. And curve the body as you take your arms overhead. Maybe holding opposite forearms or opposite elbows or maybe having the arms in a extended position. Arms could be straight or bent at the elbows, whatever is comfortable and whatever helps you get a stretch along the whole left side of the body. As you find yourself here in this crescent shape, this curved shape, and enjoying this very passive position. Noticing where you feel the sensation, where you feel the length. And it might be anywhere from the left armpit, down over the left ribs, left waist, left outer hip, left outer thigh, and down the outside of that leg. And now to release this side, return to the center and rest your arms down alongside of you for a moment. Feel your spine at the center now. Move to the second side, taking the left foot toward the left edge of the mat, cross the right ankle over left ankle, and both arms overhead as you tilt your upper body toward your left.
finding a comfortable arm position that helps you to feel the stretch along the right side of the upper body which again might be holding opposite forearms or opposite elbows or having the arms extended maybe breathing into this space on the right side of the body breathing into the right ribs, waist, hip And as your body curves in this way, the spine is curving and the fascia of the spine is lengthening all along the right side. From the right side of the sacrum all the way up to the right side of your neck. And release banana, come back to center, straighten the body out, and come to a restful position on the back for one minute. Feeling this centered position now, resting after stretching deeply into both sides of the body. shifting into a choice of postures for the back body and the spine either happy baby pose holding the bottoms of your feet turning the soles of the feet up to the sky or coming into snail pose sending the legs all the way up and over the head and resting the hands perhaps on the back or over the head and you could hold on to the feet or you could just let the feet hang In either option, lengthening the whole back of the body, the torso, the spine, the legs, and especially the sacrum. Breathing into all the fascia of the sacrum, of the back body, of the spine.
breathing and relaxing. And slowly releasing snail or happy baby, come into a resting position on your back. Make yourself comfortable for one minute to feel the rebound. Notice any sensations, any energy moving through your spine. And now taking a fish pose, come up on the elbows, hands under the buttocks, and send the head back as you lift up through the heart to counter stretch after that snail pose. You can open the mouth, open the jaw, release the tongue. Slowly releasing down onto the back and preparing for this final pose, spinal twist, with the legs crossed. So this is called twisted roots. We'll cross the left knee over the right and take both knees over to the right. And if it doesn't feel good to have the legs crossed, you could just have them uncrossed. making any adjustments, shifting as you need to, so you feel comfortable, perhaps a cushion or a bolster under the knees or between the knees. And beginning eventually to settle into where you are, to this place of body, to this posture you're in, and your relationship to gravity and to the earth and your relationship to your body and what you're feeling inside your body. The twisting of the spine, lengthening and stretching the side bodies, the ribs, the chest on the left side. Sensing if the head is comfortable where it is or if it might want to find a different angle to the right or to the left a bit more. And softening where you are.
and slowly releasing your twist coming back to center and shifting slowly to the second side, right knee over the left, twisted roots or untwisted. Right arm extends out to the right, adjusting or modifying or propping yourself as needed so that you can totally soften and relax here. Remembering that in yin, getting the deepest stretch is not really the goal. It's getting the position that you can really unfold and soften into, which sometimes on some days might not be your deepest version of a pose. Sensing into your body, into your spine. And sensing how your breath moves in your body while it's in this shape. Slowly releasing, legs coming back to center now. Straightening your body out to come into Shavasana for our final relaxation. So make yourself totally comfortable. Add any props, a cushion under your knees or under your head if you'd like. Extra clothes if you want to stay warm or a blanket on top of you. And this is your time now to completely rest, to completely immerse in the energies that have been awakened during this practice. Letting yourself steep in this sense of awareness and presence and this deep place of calm that comes about from the yin practice. This physical awareness, this energetic awareness, and perhaps this awareness of what's happening in your emotional, mental, spiritual realm. This is the essence of life. These are life's energies moving through this body.
for a final minute or so. Let your breath very gently deepen and lengthen. And breathing in a sense of gratitude for this body, for the energy that flows through it, for the life force that is present. Saturating this body with gratitude. Closing this practice now on the back with three deep breaths in and out. Taking the first deep inhale to fill your belly and fill your chest. Exhale with a sigh. And again, inhale deeply. And one more time. And take your time transitioning, maybe stretching the arms over the head. Take as much time as you need here. And thank you so much for practicing with me today. I will see you next time. Namaste.